I'm Jennifer Johnson. I'm a writer, co-producer on the show Lost, and I co-wrote episode five with Paul Dini, in which we get to know a little bit more about Charlie. Being filmed on an island, we like to get a little relief from the jungle and the beautiful mountains of Hawaii by going to some flashbacks. And we learn about Charlie Pace and his older brother, Liam, with whom he formed the band Drive Shaft, and how the success of the band got them into a rock and roll lifestyle that Charlie, being in love with music, really resisted for a while. And it was his love of his older brother that got him um, sucked into the band and then sucked into the lifestyle as well. And we learn how he feels a little bit betrayed by his brother at the end, his brother who reforms himself from drugs. It's a bit of a switcheroo. Oh, man, you're still using, aren't you? Oh, don't change the subject. That's why you haven't been returning my calls. Look, you're gonna go and tell you get help, man. I lost your sodding You're number, still a okay? junkie. And you did this to me. In, in the cold light of day, I know some ex-heroin addicts who say that you know, it probably takes about three days for your body to stop craving it, but takes years for your brain to stop thinking about it, if, if you ever do, you know. So with that in mind, I think Charlie's always gonna hang on to this. I'm just looking out for you. You never looked out for me. So to see Charlie overcome it in a very real way on the island and then to understand how overcoming drugs is overcoming the power that his brother had over him in, in their childhood and getting him into this mess in the first place. To me, that's why um, the flashbacks are so important because we understand what informs every character's character on the island and what role they'll play in the setting up of their new society.